So in this tutorial we're going to go through the Expresso data types and we're also going to look at a few basic formulas to convert from one data type into another. I've created a few objects here in the scene. I've got a pyramid, a light, uh, a Motex object, a circle spline and then I've got my Expresso null with a Expresso tag and that's the editor. So I've drag and drop these in and then um, Pyramid, I'm going to select um, coordinates global rotation H. Now, if you want to know the data type of a certain node, you just have to hover over the output or the input. And if we hover over this global rotation H, we can see at the bottom here, it says real. So this is outputting a real number. And then on the circle, I selected the intermediate points um, property. Here, and that's an integer which means it doesn't have any decimal places it's a whole number like one two three four five six uh, the mo text I've selected object properties text and that's outputting a string and then the light I chose the intensity slider and that's outputting a real number so I'm just gonna go and get my result node just to see what kind of values we're getting Whoops, wrong side. And I'm going to drag and drop result over here. So I'm just going to put, I'm just going to link global rotation H to the result node. And I'm just going to put this to the side. So you can see the pyramid here. And I'm just going to rotate it along um, H, say uh, 50 degrees. Now, if we look at the data type, for some reason it's 0 0.0873 and that can be quite confusing. So why is it 50% over here, sorry, why is it 50 degrees over here and 0 0.873 over here? That's because um, this real number is in radians and the way the radian formula works is um, you can see some basic formulas here which are very useful. So basically a radian is degrees times pi over 180. So if we want to get the degrees value, this value, from the radian value, then we basically have to uh, divide radians by pi divided by 180. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to do that by using calculate formula node. This can be very handy because you can basically uh, type in your own formulas for converting things. Now I'm going to click on this blue section here and I'm going to choose value. And that creates value 1 and it's set to a real already so that's good because that's a real as well and we've got this formula port here this formula input box here and I'm gonna check use port names so I'm basically using literally the value 1 now I'm gonna draw a link from here to the value 1 so we're basically feeding this global rotation H in radians into this value 1 so I'm gonna go to the formula uh, input box here and I'm going to type value 1 divided by and then open brackets pi divided by 180 close brackets like this and I'm just going to click away and I'm going to grab another result node and just link that to the output and as you can see now we're getting the degrees value so if I rotate my pyramid h50 50, 50 it should be identical to the rotation value in degrees and there's our radians so that's a very useful formula and uh, you'll definitely bump into this at some point so it's definitely worth uh, learning so next uh, I'm going to drag out a few more result nodes here one for each uh, node intermediate points now we know this is an integer so I'm just going to click on this result and set the data type to integer. So you basically have to set uh, the result node to the correct data type. And I'm just going to drag a link. So the circle has one intermediate points. Sorry, I've got the wrong node. Uh, should be number below intermediate points. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And it says eight. So we've got basically um, eight kind of sections to the circle spline. And that's an integer, so we basically don't have any float kind of, we don't have any decimal places. 
it's not possible. It just reverts back to a, a whole number. And uh, you might notice this icon here. It's a kind of um, square with a black arrow inside of it pointing to the right. And that basically means this value here is getting read by another node, which is actually this node here. So that's just what, something worth noting. Next, I'm going to look at the text. So I'm going to set the result to string because the text is a string. And I'm just going to draw a link between my mo text and result. So it says text. So if I change my um, text property here, set it to something like quickly effects, that should update to quick VFX. Another useful thing we can do is, uh, if I just delete this, get rid of this port, I'm going to go to the input and I'm going to select object properties text like that. And let's say uh, when I rotate this, I want to see the value in radians displayed here. So I'm just going to draw a link from mo text to text. And now my pyramid global rotation H is linked to the input of my mo text. So if I rotate my pyramid, I'm going to get the value in radians in real time. Like that. I could also uh, duplicate this. Mo text 1. Drag that up there. Uh, drag my Motex one here, do the same thing. Select text, and then link my degrees to that as well. So now I'm getting the degrees value and the value in radians as I rotate it. So you can build kind of um, interactive counters in your scene. So next I've got my light intensity, that's my light, and we've got the intensity slider. So let's look at the result. The intensity is a real, the result is a real by default. I'm just going to draw a link. Now for some reason, my light intensity is 76%, uh, but it's displayed as 0 0.76 here. So basically if we want to see the percentage, we have to do a maths operation again. Um, calculate, we could just do a simple math because it's just multiply by 100, just put 100 here, and output 76. So now we're getting the um, exact value in percent. So these math and formula nodes are very handy for uh, converting values and just carrying out simple math operations. And then um, We've got a Boolean uh, value, so if I just drag the pyramid over again, and I'm going to go to Basic Properties, Visible and Editor. Drag over a result and set it to Bool. And link this to here. So it's tr set to true because it is visible. The pyramid is visible in the editor. So if I go to my pyramid, and set visible in editor. You'll note the icon appears here. I'm going to set this to off. Oops. For some reason the value is stuck at true. That was very strange. I'm not sure why that is happening. So I'm going to try another property. Enabled enabled is set to true and now it's set to false so for some reason it appears um, these boolean values only seem to work with checkboxes it did not seem to react to this uh, menu drop down that's probably because this isn't a boolean because you also have a default option instead of just on and off so uh, it must be a completely different data type but enabled works as expected true false and one last uh, one last node I want to go through is the time node so I'm just going to type in time 
drag it over. It's in the general tab. And I'm just going to drag a simple result over again, like that. And this is time, so I'm going to set the result to time and draw a link. So if I play the animation and hit stop, we get 1.6. So this is another conversion uh, scenario, So because we're on 40 frames and the result is 1.6. That's because this is set to seconds and this is in frames. And because I'm using 25 frames a second, at 50 it should be exactly 2 seconds, 25 it should be exactly 1 second. And another thing to note is, if you go to calculate, you should always have animation refresh checked, so uh, the, basically the results update in real time. So now if I hit the play slider, we can see that updating as it's playing, which is what we want. So that's a simple introduction to data types. I hope that was useful and thanks for watching.